I'm trying to decide if I should get up or not. Uh, it's a little bit after 5 a.m. Excuse me. Whew. My mattress blew last night. I tried to patch it, but the glue they sent didn't really uh, work. So I might as well get up. I'm either going to have a 15-mile day or a 20-mile day. I'm still deciding. Mm. As you can tell, I'm not wearing my gloves, but I got them in my pocket because I wasn't exactly sure what the temperature is going to be today, but I think it's still going to be warm. And uh, it feels warm right now, so that's all I care about. I've only got two layers on, my pants, my shirt, and my rain stuff. Rain stuff to keep it a little drier. It, you know, once you touch that, it doesn't matter. Now, I do have my wool cap on. And uh, we'll see how that goes as the day goes on. But after learning from yesterday, I'm not gonna talk while walking uphill. So I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay, I made it to the top of this bald. I've done my first, uh, oh, I got a thing on my head. Uh, my first mile of the day, straight up, uh, it is now out of the way. The rest of this is downhill. And of course, it's raining. And looking at the weather forecast, it's gonna rain all day, which is great because something always happens to me when it's sunny. And now it's raining, maybe I'm more careful. I don't know. But anyway, uh, I'm on the top of this thing. I'm way up, but there's nothing but soup. I didn't talk for that first mile for obvious reasons, uh, but you know, one mile out of the way, I feel happy today. It's raining, maybe that's the bad part and it'll stay that way. There's some little mark that says this is the highest point for me today. Uh, I'm gonna make a run for Fontana Dam and if I do that, it's seven o'clock now. Uh, that means I gotta go 22 miles. So, we're gonna see. I will decide at a shelter. The shelter's at 15 miles. Well, 14 now. And uh, as long as I don't get lost, pass out, uh, a number of other things uh, but it does rain all day so we'll see oh look at this mm, it's a big old down down there's plenty of those all day long and those will slow you down oh I can go around uh, yeah there's been plenty of those anywhere more than four miles on either side of the NOC is a lot of blowdowns. Something to look forward to. Yay. All right. I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Hopefully nothing will happen between then and now. Okay, so I'm walking up. I see this sign. North to the Appalachian Trail. All kind of different things. I came from Chia Ball that says it was 0.5. That's a lie. Sassafras Gap, whatever. The knock. Eight miles. It says 20 miles to Fontana Dam. Hmm. That's a lie, too. Because according to my gut hooks, it's 23 miles. But we'll see.
starting to come down as I come down off this mountain and they're kind of laying down up in there. I guess it's wind. So there's clouds on this side of the ridge and they're blowing the clouds down into this area over here. Anyway, it's kind of pretty. Sorry you can't see it because of all the trees, but sorry. Anyway, still moving. That's my first objective at the 15 mile today, but I still have still have six and a half miles to go to Fontana. But look at this one. This is a great one. This is Cable Gap. It's got water right in front. Yeah, look, it's got water right there. It's got a privy in the back. It's right on the trail. It looks great, and then the trail goes on up that way. Oh, man, I should stay, but nope, not today. I'm going on to Fontana. This is beautiful, huh? Oh, it's a log cabin, too. Wow, they did a really good job on this one. Perte. Hey guys, I think I've done about 19 miles today. I'm trying to get to 23 miles, which puts me into Fontana Dam. Yeah, that's a lot. Uh, and my ride's gonna be there in two hours. It is 4.30, he's gonna be there an hour and a half, and I got four miles to go. Uh, but I'm gonna take it a little bit here, because it's so beautiful out if you look behind me see I've been watching these mountains and these clouds all day it's been raining all day I've gotten used to the rain uh, something about this trail is starting to touch me a little everyone I'm already touched but it's touching me a little bit in that it is beautiful I'm listening to this classical music we got a hundred and something songs on this album and I'm walking along listening to it and then the clouds will part and the mountain will pop up and it, in this case behind me they're all black and white you see them and now the clouds are starting to lay down in there uh yeah it's trying to say something to me and then they'll throw a big mountain in the way and said if you want to see more of this climb this mountain and i go okay i climb the mountain and then there it does it again so the trail's doing something it's hitting on me let me see all right i'm gonna keep on going 
I got an hour and a half to do four uh, miles. No way, man. Not gonna happen. Oh my God. I see the dam. I see it out there. I see Fontana Dam. Ooh. Ooh. If I don't kill myself coming down this wet ass slope. I think that's it right away. It's been 27 miles today. Ooh. I'm gonna kill myself again on this slope. All right. You tell me. Is that it or not? I think that is a dam. That's a big giant dam. And that is a lake. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Jay Hiker is one of the last guys I saw. And I think he just point. Yes, because he was taking pictures of Fontana Dam. That was over two weeks ago. Oh, and look, I'm right behind you, man. Next stop, the Great Smokies. Right there. Wow, anyway, I gotta get down there. My ride's gonna be there in about an hour. So I gotta get moving. Uh, this is great, and I don't wanna hurt myself again. Alright, bye.